Welcome to Geology Info. Information saves lives. Always seek official sources. According to recent data from the USGS and geological institutions in North America, the Pacific Northwest Coast, stretching from Northern California to British Columbia, hides one of the greatest seismic dangers on the planet, the Cascadia Fault. Despite the lush landscape of dense forests, majestic mountains, and vibrant cities, Beneath the ground lies a subduction zone capable of completely transforming this region in just minutes. Historically, this section has already been the stage for colossal seismic events, such as the megaquake of 1700, which generated a tsunami so powerful it crossed the ocean and reached Japan. This event, documented both by geological records and indigenous community accounts, is a grim reminder that the land there is far from stable. The so-called Cascadia Fault is the meeting point of two giants of geology, the Juan de Fuca Plate and the North American Plate. For centuries, these plates have been compressing, accumulating colossal energy. When this energy is released, scientists project an earthquake of magnitude greater than nine, followed by tsunamis that could reach the coast in less than 15 minutes. But a new study has revealed an even more disturbing threat, the abrupt sinking of entire coastal areas. In a matter of minutes, Parts of cities could be lowered by up to six and a half feet, two meters, falling below sea level and therefore exposed to permanent flooding. These alerts are not speculation. They are based on detailed digital models and concrete physical data, such as high-resolution simulations and records of previous subsidence. Research led by Dr. Tina Dura, a geoscientist at Virginia Tech, revealed that this sinking has already happened in the past and could repeat on a large scale. Regions such as Grays Harbor, Humboldt Bay, and Appa Bay are particularly vulnerable, as they are nearly at sea level. If the forecast proves true, these places could become uninhabitable within minutes, representing a drastic and definitive change in the geography of the northwest coast. When we add this factor of sudden subsidence, we face a tripled risk of permanent flooding. Cities that today live peacefully could become zones of constant inundation, with streets, houses, and shopping centers invaded by tides. This would compromise not only people's daily lives, but also vital infrastructure, such as hospitals, schools, airports, and emergency systems, which could be rendered useless or destroyed. The impacts go far beyond the physical loss of structures. It is estimated that more than 22,000 people would be immediately exposed to the risk of flooding, a number that could grow as the water advances. With the land sinking and the sea rising, the soil becomes permanently vulnerable. What was once fertile farmland or a safe urban zone could turn into swampy, unusable land, bringing unprecedented challenges for engineers, authorities, and the population itself. This reality demands a complete change in how coastal cities in the region are planned. The warning was given based on robust evidence, and scientists are unanimous in stating this phenomenon will happen again. The scientific community considers that a new major seismic event in the region is inevitable on a geological scale, and given this, preparation is the only real tool that can save lives and reduce damage. Although the risk of the Cascadia Fault has been known for decades, recent discoveries have completely changed experts' perspective on the potential impact of the next great event. The threat is not just the quake and the tsunami, but the deep and permanent transformation of the terrain. Subsidence, that is, the sudden sinking of the ground, could cause an irreversible collapse in densely populated areas turning entire neighborhoods into flooded, unusable zones. This process does not naturally reverse. The sunken land remains below sea level, creating new geographic contours and zones of permanent risk for thousands of people. According to simulation models presented in Dr. Tina Dura's study, more than 22,000 people may be in vulnerable areas. This means that even before the tsunami arrives, the ground level would have dropped so much that water would invade these areas almost instantly. The effect would be devastating. Entire communities, commercial areas, critical infrastructure facilities, and evacuation routes would become impassable. This new ground level would not return to what it was before, leaving populations vulnerable not only to immediate catastrophe, but also to decades of constant exposure to salt water, erosion, and loss of urban functionality. This type of disaster requires a drastic and urgent response from authorities. Currently, many cities along the northwest coast of the United States still operate with outdated evacuation plans based on routes that may simply cease to exist after the quake. Without viable roads, without communication, and with collapsed structures, survival will depend on prior preparation and immediate response capacity. 
In addition, few of these communities have effective seismic alert systems. Although technologies already exist to detect tremors in real time, the current warning time is about 90 seconds, enough only for those already prepared to react. Another critical aspect is soil liquefaction. This phenomenon occurs when, during an earthquake, water-saturated soil loses its consistency and behaves like quicksand. This severely compromises the stability of buildings, roads, and any structure built on this type of terrain. Unfortunately, many coastal areas in the region are composed of sandy soils highly susceptible to this process. The result could be the immediate collapse of entire buildings, swallowed by the very ground, further worsening the situation of cities after the seismic event. The research also points out that the impact goes beyond urban areas. Fragile ecosystems, such as estuaries, wetlands, and coastal aquifers would suffer permanent alterations. The intrusion of salt water would contaminate freshwater reserves, compromising supply for thousands of homes. Local flora and fauna would be deeply affected, with imbalances that could take decades to recover, if at all possible. Furthermore, the collapse of sewage treatment plants in flooded areas would represent a serious sanitary threat to public health. One of the greatest challenges authorities face, raising population awareness about an event that, while rare, is inevitable. The ground beneath their feet has been accumulating energy for more than 300 years, and scientists warn that the geological clock is getting closer to zero. The time to act is now, before nature decides on its own, as data accumulates and models become more precise, a new reality emerges for urban planning on the northwest coast of North America. The threat of the Cascadia Fault is no longer limited to generic forecasts. Now there are detailed maps clearly indicating which areas will be swallowed by the ocean in case of a megaquake. These maps cross geological information, sea level rise projections, and flood insurance data, painting a dramatic scenario. Cities like Portland, Seattle, Vancouver, and Victoria could lose entire neighborhoods to the sea. What once were promising urban growth zones are now areas of high geological risk. This transformation imposes immense challenges on public managers, engineers, and urban planners. Current infrastructure was built based on parameters that did not consider large-scale subsidence. Fuel depots, sewage stations, ports, and highways could disappear underwater or become unusable. The problem will not just be rebuilding, it will be completely rethinking where and how to build. Avoiding sinking zones and future flooding will require a radical reevaluation of land use regulations and building codes. Beyond the physical issue, there's the human impact. Entire populations could be forced to abandon their homes, roots, and everything they know. This represents an internal mass migration, not caused by war or economic crisis, but by an irreversible geological change. The social implications are profound. Increased pressure on safe areas, loss of community identity, conflicts over resources, and enormous financial and emotional costs. It is a phenomenon that challenges authorities' ability to respond quickly and efficiently, especially considering the magnitude and complexity of the situation. If you made it this far, it means you care about the future of your community and want to understand risks that often go unnoticed. So don't keep this information to yourself. Share this video with those who live in risk areas or are interested in science and prevention. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and help build a network of conscious and prepared people. Information saves lives. Always seek official sources.